praise and all thanks to the God who created heaven and earth with all honor to the bread and life. Our special adoration is to be given to the eternal spirit. Brothers and sisters, today is a very special day and I would like to celebrate this with my spiritual family, the Church of the Lion God. Valentine's Day is a day where love should be the only concern for those that have been brought together by our Heavenly Father. Amen. The origins of St. Valentine's is not cards and candy, but if you know the real strength and omnipotent power of our God, then you will be well aware that He can choose to use anything for His purpose and goodwill. The great power of God's love upon the cross produces the miracle of love in the previously loveless. Love always awakens love, though a love that is still imperfect at a human level. The divine love is able to provide a true and worthy objective to which the barren heart can at last turn. As is written in the book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 19, we love because God first loved us. In the book of Genesis, we read the start of the creation of the world and how God, through his word, Jesus, and his Holy Spirit brought all things into existence. If we read chapter 2, verse 21, it is written, Then the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took out one of the man's ribs and closed the flesh. He formed the woman out of the rib and brought her to him. Then the man said, At last, here is one of my own kind, bone taken from my bone and flesh from my flesh. Woman is her name because she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united with his wife and they become one. Amen. There is no one on earth that is perfect. Hence why Jesus died for us and our sins. But it's our differences that make us unique and our weaknesses will and can be our partner's strengths. And our strengths can be our partner's weaknesses. There is no greater feeling than love as to love and give love to your partner means you win as you get to be loved back. Your partner should be your best friend, your soulmate, your everything. Because when God chose to save you, he gave you everything. When he created us, he gave us everything we would ever need for our trials and tribulations of life in this fallen world. No relationship is easy. But with honor, trust, loyalty, respect, and a determination to succeed, as I said prior, what is impossible to man, God can make it possible. For those who are fortunate to have the gift of love, I beg you to treasure it and do right by your soulmate. One day a year is not enough to show how much you care. Every day should be Valentine's Day for your special one. As every day is a gift from God to honor and worship the one you call your partner. If today is a day of solitary, and you feel you're by yourself, just know Jesus is with you and his love, the Father's love and the love of the Holy Spirit is a love that can never be matched. If you have recently broken up in a relationship, do not be sad. Do not be upset. Be happy in knowing God has far greater plans for you, plans you will never be able to imagine as his love is unconditional and is a gift to all of those who openly receive it. My brothers incarcerated with me would like to send a special message to the ones they love. My brother Jack from Southampton wants his soulmate and best friend to know he will be home soon and he loves you. My brother Lewis sends his love to the one who truly has his heart. My brother Daniel wants his father to know his time is now and Christ has his heart. My brother George from Reading wants Anna to know that he loves you. He's safe and he's okay. He'll be home soon. Let today truly be a celebration of love. Let me use today, Pastor Ish, for this message is for my rib. Love is not the person I see myself with. It's a special, beautiful spirit I cannot live without. Nothing or no one is going to stop our movement. As I've said, when we fight, we will fight together against any and every obstacle that tries to prevent and stop this love. Glory be to the Most High God.